guys, it's Kelly Latavola here and I'm back with another video for W Plus 9. Today we're going to be using um, some older stamp sets that I just think are still super cute. This is the milk and cookie stamp set and the dies. And then I also have the just geometrics triangles that I'm going to use to kind of create a background. I wanted to do some just really kind of soft ink blending in the background. So for one of the cards I'm using Warren Lipstick, and since I am starting in the middle of the card, meaning I'm not bringing it in off of the craft mat, you'll see when I ink up the um, foam piece, I'm just kind of like turning it once or twice on my craft mat, just so that I don't have like this huge blotch. Because I'm using Distress Oxides, um, it probably wouldn't be that big of a deal. It's a lot easier to blend out than distress inks, um, but it just depends on what kind of medium you're using. For most of them, you won't be able to blend it out if you don't start off just super soft and kind of build up that color. So now I have both of the backgrounds done. Um, the second one I use Salty Ocean for, again, Distress Oxide. And I am just flicking on clean, clear water to kind of get that oxidation going, break up that background a little bit, make it more interesting. If you watch my videos, you pretty much know what's coming next, which is going to be the shimmer. So for the pink background, I'm using the W plus 9 shimmer spray. I'm just like spattering it on there off of the um, end of the tube. And then for the blue background, I'm using Perfect Pearls. They are very similar. The, the way that they work are very similar. One, obviously the shimmer spray is liquid. The Perfect Pearls is powder, um, but they do have kind of a different finish. So uh, it just depends on, again, the kind of look you're going for. Um, so I just put those down in the background. I let them dry completely. I am working on white W plus 9 cardstock, which is not watercolor paper, but it is thick enough to withstand a couple of spatters of moisture. So I'm taking the largest triangle um, piece of this set and I'm stamping down on the pink one using um, shell pink. This is going to be very very subtle um, but it's just something you know they're they're simple cards so we're looking for it to be engaging to be interesting. For the blue one I used the sea breeze ink which in real life you can see it is very very difficult to see on camera and was almost impossible to capture when I was doing my photos but in real life you can actually see the triangles back there. There is um, multiple different triangles in this set. There's this kind of like background piece and then there's another smaller ones that you can fill in with which is what I did on both of them. I did it with the pink as well as with the blue to just kind of extend that pattern out, make it a little bit more random. Here I'm going to use my Mini Misty to go ahead and stamp down uh, the images and I'm going to be stamping these twice. So I kind of have them all blocked off on one side of my cardstock so that way I can just stamp them down. I'm using intense black ink from Simon's to stamp because you know I'm going to be doing that Copic coloring. Um, so stamp those down and then when I'm done stamping this side I can just flip that piece of paper and stamp it again. I don't have to worry about moving all of those stamps. They're you know done and in, in the you know area that I want them to be with enough room that I can die cut them. I'm going to start with I just, okay, so when I was coloring these, I was thinking basically of my husband and my son. So this one I'm going to color as if it's just white milk in this container. Um, I'm using a C1 to start. I kind of gave myself a little line of where I thought the milk would stop. And then I'm going to add shading to the left and the right hand of the bottle. I'm going to add a, just a little bit of shading up at the top with a C3 because that area would be darker where that glass is more gathered. And then I'm just going to do a line on either side of the um, bottle to make that a little bit darker. And then I'm going to go in with a B quadruple zero and add shading over all of that. So as if the bottle is shaded blue, kind of is the look I was going for. So even though we don't have a lot of color here, blending back out with that C1, um, you can tell that there is obviously something in the container. It makes much more sense when you put the whole thing together into a card. Um, but so moving on to the cookies, like I said, I was thinking of my husband, my son. I started coloring this. I was just like grabbing the markers that I had pulled. Um, these aren't actually going to go together because my husband loves um, white milk with his 
traditional Oreo cookies. My son loves chocolate milk with his vanilla Oreo cookies. So that is why I'm coloring my little sandwich cookies here um, with these lighter browns because that's the color of the vanilla ones, which are the ones that my little peanut loves. So once I did um, all of that, I felt like the lightest color really kind of pulled up my darker color. So I just went back in with a quick little flick on the left and the right hand side to just darken those up. I'm going to do the shading of the um, cream in the center, which is actually the best part of the cookie, <laughs> um, with some warm grays. And for the darkest color, I am literally just adding one little line, just enough to give me a little bit of depth and roundness. For the straw, I am coloring one straw blue and one straw pink. I kept them pretty monochromatic, um, you know, use those browns as my neutrals um, or in the white milk, you know, the, the grays as my neutrals. But for the straw, I wanted to just kind of bring in a little bit of pop of color and I'm just adding a little bit of shading to kind of like the bottom right and the top left. So there is a little bit of a highlight on it, uh, but nothing that's too crazy. In hindsight, I almost kind of wish I would have stamped them and then white heat embossed them because I think I would like the stripe better than the black, um, but I did what I did. So now we're going to move on to my little peanut butter's uh, chocolate milk. And for this, I was looking at the browns that I owned and I wanted it to be like a traditional chocolate. So I wanted it to be warm, um, but because it's mixed with you know, white milk, it isn't that warm. It isn't like pure milk chocolate. So how I decided to kind of get the color I was looking for, which I actually achieved Christmas miracle. Um, I did the shading with some 70s, which are really, really cool browns. So I used a 77 and a 79, again, doing that same thing, kind of just adding the shading to the left and the right. And then I went in with an E25, which I think the name of it actually is milk chocolate. Um, and then I went over everything. So it really warmed up that shading, but it wasn't so warm that it didn't look like it would go. Going to do the same thing with the blue marker that I did on the other bottle and just add the shading kind of to the neck of it. And then moving on to my traditional cookies. Um, I say traditional because have you, I mean, have you been in the cookie aisle? It's like every holiday they've got like orange creamsicles for Easter. They've got Halloween. They've got mint for Christmas. I mean, they're just Oreo really just branching out there. And I only ever buy, I shouldn't say I only ever buy the original because honestly, I buy the double stuffed because the middle is the best part. Those are the only ones I buy are the double stuffed. Um, so the same thing, just kind of adding chain to the left and the right side. For this one, I had already done the um, cream um, filling in the center. And then for the straw, I'm going to color it the same way. So I'm just going to quickly show you the color combo I used. And then I'm going to move on to the rest of the card. For the, the white milk, I thought it would be super cute to kind of just add this little red heart to it. Just again, to bring a little bit of, you know, pop of color. I stamped that in the um, gala red. And I'm going to add a little bit of shading because it looked really flat to me. So I'm using an R59, woo, couldn't think of it, uh, 59 to add a little bit of shading again to the left and right hand side, almost like if it was a sticker that was stuck to the bottle. So it would be formed to the bottle and have the same kind of shading that the bottle would. And then I'm going to blend that out with an R35. If you're going to do this, just be really, really careful because it's super easy to um, kind of blend outside that line and misshape in that circle. Here, I did not really think through how I was going to make this straw go into this bottle. So after looking at it and realizing it would just look crazy to have this straw glued on top, I decided that I was going to kind of trick it. So what I did was um, I cut along the edge of wherever the, um, the white milk or the chocolate milk was and just with a, a craft knife. And then I kind of fit my straw into it so that it would look like it was going down into the liquid. Um, and that actually worked really well. For the blue card, I am going to give myself just a little bit of ground um, so that they don't look like they're just kind of floating in midair. Again, this is, you know, hindsight's 2020. We're all Monday morning quarterbacks. Um, I wish I would have done this on the pink card as well. I didn't. Um, but I just, 
it was just a little bit of a different feel. I didn't think I needed it. In hindsight, I kind of wish I would have. I'm going to lay these down because I want to pop them up on foam tape and I, I cannot stamp my sentiment that close after I adhere them with foam tape. Uh, I won't be able to get my black down far enough to have a complete sentiment stamped properly. So once I stamp the sentiment in uh, W plus nine black dye ink, I'm going to go ahead and finish off building, um, you know, adding those images, just popping them up on scotch foam tape. I glued uh, with Tama Mana Multi Glue these because obviously the cookies, you can just do stacks and stack of cookies. Doesn't that sound like heaven? Um, so you could do stacks of cookies, but I just did these little three. And um, I glued them together so it would be easier to put the foam tape on the back. And then I just like snug that up next to the bottle so it looked like it was sitting in front. And then I'm going to move on to building the pink card because this one is a little bit different. So in the set, or in the set, there's... Um, like little extra sentiments that say like you're the to my um just it's super cute so I wanted it to almost look like like a pictogram like you're the milk to my cookies which is super cute right and then I continued the little we're just better together theme um and so I needed to you I needed to put them down as placeholders before I stamped my sentiment so that it would make sense across the board and then even when I put them down the first time I didn't like push push them down until I was sure that they were centered in between those two sentiments after I did this I realized there was kind of like this huge gap between um the we're just better together portion and the rest of the card so in order to draw the eye up through that sentiment and fill in those areas I used some clear droplets uh, so it didn't really take anything away from the card. It just kind of helped guide the way that your eye looks. I used just a couple of them on the blue card as well. I'm clear wink Estella would everything, all of it, all the business. And then I also drew in some highlights. I didn't film it, but you can see on the pink card that there's actually like a pink line for inside the white milk. Um, I added that with one of the lighter colors just so it would give the illusion of the straw sitting in the milk. Using some stardust stickles just to accent, you know, some of those extra little points. The little heart that I stamped on the milk glass and the um, flag that's on the straw. And then that's the whole card. So I hope you guys found something to inspire you. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.